So a couple of people have been asking me, how do you actually set up your Lenovo Explorer headset? So I'm just gonna have a really quick two minute um, breakdown of what you need. The first thing you need is SteamVR. Get SteamVR, just install it, it's free. The second thing you need, this is really, really important and people usually skip this step and it's very, very important. You need Windows Mixed Reality for SteamVR. That allows your Windows Mixed Reality headsets to speak to SteamVR properly. Now you need to actually set up your headset. So you need to go to your settings, then go to Mixed Reality. And uh, in Mixed Reality, you need to go to your headset display. So um, this is pretty important here. Um, you can get apps that can calculate this. It's your IPD. Um, I actually happened to get mine measured at an optician before and uh, I set it in at 63. I don't know why it adjusted it to um, this, but it's close enough. So your IPD, super important. Um, you can do it by feel, but uh, it's best to actually do a proper calculation. The next thing is, this is really, really important too. You need to go to your experience options and you need to set it to 90 hertz. What you also want to do is you want to go to your Steam library and to tools and you want to go to Steam VR and you want to make sure that Steam VR isn't in beta mode. If it is in beta mode, just go to properties, betas, and just opt out of all beta programs. That should do it. Now, uh, one thing that's very important to note about not being in beta mode is that you actually lose the uh, motion reprojection um, that gives you that double frame effect that um, you get in a lot of other games. Like I use it for Assetto Corsa and when I'm running 45 FPS, it pretty much feels like 90 FPS on um, something like an Oculus Rift or a HTC Vive. So if you're going back to those games, I would advise going back into beta mode and making sure that you've got your reprojection um, configured. If anybody wants me to, to do a video on my Assetto Corsa settings, uh, just give a shout in the comments below and I'll show you because that runs super smooth on the same machine. So the next thing you want to do is go and start up the game. So let's start up Dirt. So I discovered that um, F11 actually recenters. So if I look over left, right, so very, very handy. It means you don't have to be looking around all the time. So let's go into the settings here. So let's have a look at these settings. Options and extra, and down to graphics settings. So I have my multi-sampling at four times, my antistropic filtering at 16 times. Advanced graphics, I've got um, quality preset on ultra, shader detail on high, uh, texture detail ultra, reflections ultra, screen space reflections on, shadows ultra, ultra. These are all defaults that the game gave me and they seem to work really, really well for me. So there's a lot of ultra there and um, mess around with whatever suits for you. So let's put these settings to the test now. So we're doing this without a sequential. Opens of a crest, 30. Two left tightens, don't cut. Into two right. Opens of an arrow bridge, 80. Six left long tightens, to flat of a crest, 150. To get a good impression of what the graphics are like. Opens of a crest. Into six left long of a crest. Cut to gravel and six left long, opens 
of a crest, 30. Five right, into three left of a crest, don't cut. Into five right of a crest. 30. Flat middle of a big jump, 80. Small crest, 60. Four right long, tightens. So as you can see, graphic settings are really, really good. All the settings are really, really high. FPS is really smooth. Um, the YouTube quality actually limits only to about 60 FPS or 60 uh, frames per second, yeah. Um, and uh, I'm getting well over that. So it's super smooth, really, really nice, really enjoyable. That's with the L Lenovo Explorer. I hope that helps people. Cheers. So the final step is Give a comment below if this helped you, like and subscribe please and uh, give me a shout if you need more videos.